Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church, and I'm 51 years old. That's right, I'm 51, and I feel it. I, well, I don't feel it so much as I hear it. Like, I start to hear myself say old people things. Like, you know, things that when you were young, you're like, I'm never gonna say that. And then now I, I say it. Like, like, one of the things is I talk about the past in a way that makes it sound like it was just the best ever. And then I compare it to today and I make it sound like things are getting worse, right? Like things were so much better when I was a kid. And uh, I'm a child of the late 70s and 80s, right? And so I always talk about like all the things that I miss from when I was a kid or how much more like innocent the world was or how much more better life was and to be honest i mean that's really that's that's called declinism and declinism is this idea that we all think the past is better than the present that we tend to glorify all the memories and all the glory days of our past and then we downplay the present because we see a lot more of the negativity perhaps as adults that maybe we missed when we were young but in truth we can't go back in time to those days. And I think if we did, we would find that there were elements of the past that we didn't appreciate either. I mean, you wanna go into the past and we're gonna go back to 9-11 or we're gonna go back to two world wars or we're gonna go back to the depression or we're gonna go back uh, to any number of catastrophes, Hiroshima, right? There's tons of things. And then like all the, all the medical marvels, you know, all the cures, that we've had since then, those will all be, those would be gone if we went into the past or uh, any of the modern inventions like, you know, washing machines or refrigerators or electricity, like those things would, would all disappear too. So, you know, we, we glorify the past with, with the TV shows we used to watch and how much safer we all felt and maybe the, the you know, football was better. And now we downplay the, the present and we act as though, oh yeah, things are getting worse. I would. I would hate to be a kid growing up in this day and age. What an awful thing to say, right? What an awful thing to say. I would hate to be a kid growing up now. When there are kids growing up now, our kids are growing up now. So is it true? Are things getting worse? Well, I don't know that things are getting worse, but Things have kind of always been like this. And I know we've got lots of things in place, right? We have lots of things in place that we think are gonna help us get better. We're, we're, we're constantly surprised that things aren't getting better, right? We're like, wow, we're doing all this stuff. Like we have, we have a government and government is supposed to help us get better. And we have schools and the schools and the education system is getting better and they're training our kids and, and we're, we're raising better adults. Uh, we're raising adults that are more aware of their you know, own emotions, but then also more aware of their surroundings. So we should be getting better there. And modern medicine is constantly getting better. You know, technology is getting better. So we should be all getting better. So then naturally we should be eliminating all the bad stuff from our life, right? We should be eliminating sexism and racism and classism and hate and selfishness and, you know, anger. Like we, we just assume that because life gets better, then all the bad things will just disappear. But the bad things are still here. And as we grow older, we see the bad things more and more and more. And we're more aware of them. And we wish there was something we could do about it. Whereas 2019, how come we just can't evolve, right? Let's evolve. Let's evolve into better humans. Let's evolve into more loving humans, more caring humans. Like why can't we, right? Why can't we evolve? Why can't we get past these things? Well, I would argue that that's sin. That's sin. And really sin has been with us since Genesis chapter three. I mean, sin has been with us since Adam, Eve, a snake and an apple, like bad things and anger and revenge and selfishness and vanity. Those things have been around since day one and they've never gone anywhere. They've never gone anywhere. And we have to live with that every single day. 
So what do we do? What do we do as children of God who live in a world of sin? That's what we're going to talk about this Sunday at Walden Community Church. We're going to talk about the doctrine of sin, the doctrine of sin. And we're going to talk about how we've lived with this since the beginning. And we'll talk about that, that, that very memorable Sunday school story of Adam and Eve. Hey, we've got two worship opportunities for you this Sunday. We have a 930 service with our choir and more traditional hymns. And then we have an 11 o'clock service with our worship team, more contemporary music, and a full children's program from nursery all the way through high school. Hey, we want to be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.